ladies and gentlemen we have a kvk coming up very very soon and today i'm gonna be doing something that i never thought that i would be doing when gorgo first came out and that is investing in her strictly for open field fighting yes that's right so today we're gonna be spending a lot of sculptures on gorgo and we're gonna see if we can get our hands on a five five one five because i really don't want to have to expertise her for open field use but first what's going on guys cheers now this is actually something that i was wrong about and i know i know shocking right but look if i'm gonna celebrate all the times that i'm right about predicting things then i have to also admit when i'm wrong and in this instance my first knee-jerk reaction for gorgo when she was announced was that's a great garrison commander and that's it and guys i think uh i think i'm gonna be investing in her just for open field use literally that's all i care about we have plenty of really powerful garrison leaders in my kingdom way way stronger accounts than mine they're actually crazy so my kingdom doesn't really need another garrison lead but i could use gorgo in the open field now here's the reason why i didn't do it for my last kvk i wanted to test liu che with Tarek, and it actually worked really well and i was considering not investing in Gorgo for this KVK because I wanted to test Liu Che with Alex, which I do still think is a very good choice if you have Alex. But man, some of the reports that I'm seeing out of the Gorgo Liu Che in the field is just really good. And one of the reasons that my knee jerk reaction was that people aren't going to use her is because she's got no March speed on the kit. But as you guys know, the infantry set does give you 10% extra March speed. And now that the iconic tier system is in the game, I'm only uh, one iconic upgrade away from getting 5% more march speed on my set boots for infantry which i will be getting very soon so that's 15 percent march speed that i can get from my equipment and i mean right now i'm running liu che with Tarek, and that with my current gear gives me five percent from the boots and Tarek only gives you march speed outside of alliance territory but it is 10 percent so that's 15 percent outside of my alliance territory whereas with the proper equipment and four piece set bonus then i'll get about the same amount with my liu che and gorgo so that doesn't mean that she's fast but it's a little bit better than i thought and certainly faster than guan yu with leo was back in the day for example so i think we're gonna do it but there's one caveat here and that is that we are not going to be expertising gorgo for open field use why is that well first of all her expertise is quite good but it's really expensive to get it when you consider that the third skill doesn't do anything in the open field it is literally just a garrison skill and so if you get her from 5515 up to expertise then you're spending 310 legendary commander sculptures just for this alone and this only works under 50 percent units remaining which is very powerful in a garrison and it's not as powerful in the open field because typically i know she's slow and so you might not be able to run away as as effectively as other marches but in theory the the best strategy would be to avoid fighting under 50 percent as much as you can in which case you'd be trying to avoid using this expertise in general right now you do have a 10 percent chance to gain a mighty shield and reduce the attack of up to five troops by 30 percent for three seconds that's a really powerful attack debuff especially as a passive debuff very very good stuff here aoe debuffing is always really good but i just don't know if this is worth 310 sculptures for open field use now if the next infantry cycle has garbage in it and i have nothing to do with my sculptures maybe i'll come back here and unlock this but for right now we're gonna try to get our hands on a 5515 gorgo for open field use we have 1222 legendary commander sculptures so i think that i i have a little bit of wiggle room in my budget to where i can throw some sculptures at gorgo and even if i only use her for like one kvk if she does her job it should be good so without further ado let's go ahead and put some sculptures into our girl here so there we go boom and we're gonna max out this first skill here and hopefully I won't need to use a ton of skill resets and it would be really awkward if I couldn't get a 5515 with the amount of skill resets that I have next we're going to unlock her second skill her second skill gives her a bunch of infantry attack and also you have a 10 percent chance to increase the target's normal damage received by 30 percent really good stuff there especially when you pair her with liu che which is probably going to be what i pair her with a little bit of a spoiler alert for later in the video i will go over that uh in just a moment all right she is five five one one right now which is a very good budget build to be honest with you guys so we're hoping that the next four upgrades go into this last skill because it gives you 30 percent more normal damage for three seconds really crazy stuff there so boom let's go ahead and upgrade it and literally failed right away okay let's go ahead and do another upgrade and 
Ooh, we're getting we're getting we're not uh we ain't too happy about this all right let's do another one let's do another one boom we literally did i skill lock it i i'm literally just getting wrecked right now okay let's do one more one more okay and boom we got let's go we got literally the worst configuration i love that okay so we have 20 skill resets is that enough am i about to get wrecked right now okay so let's reset the skills and we know we're gonna get the the first two skills to five okay let's try this again uh, uh, what there's no way there's no way oh my god okay let's try this again stop it okay okay i was gonna say the, the game has got to be bugged if it's never gonna give me that last kill okay okay so i mean we oh we got a five five two four <sighs> man nope i i've got too many skill resets i gotta just i just gotta go for it okay okay Stir! why we got five five two four again bro okay let's try this again oh my god i literally lose the first 50 50 every single time what is go Stir! okay let's try this again what are you doing Four! We've used six skill resets already, and every single time, the first one always wrecks me. Okay, okay, okay. We're doing good. We're good. We're doing good. Let's go. Let's go. No! We got five, five, two, four again, bro. Oh my god. Okay, we're down to thirteen skill resets. In theory right now if i don't skill lock it at all there's a 75 percent chance that it goes into a skill that i care about and a 25 percent chance it goes into the skill that i want no i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna play it safe let's try this again let's go off to a good start Fuck! bro every time five five two four bro oh my god i'm so stressed out okay let's try this again Stop! okay you know what no let's see let's see let's go for this one right off the rip no 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 skill locks or anything let's just let's just get this one right out of the way okay it didn't work didn't work we're still safe we're still safe we're still safe we're still safe okay now it is dropped to a 33 percent chance i will be skill locking let's try this again please please give me illuminator please give me a mother okay we're down to 10 skill resets we've used half of them already give me illuminator please okay we're off to a good start <sighs> come on one more time five five two four again bro oh my god dude i'm going through all my skill resets for this okay okay let's go again <laughs> okay let's try this one more time give me illuminator let's go this is it this is gonna be it we're good we're good watch this ready boom boom <laughs> bro we're down to seven skill resets already this is going so badly i didn't i didn't think it would be this hard oh my god bro basically all i have to do here is flip a coin and get heads four times in a row that's it so let's see it let's see illuminator let's go one two ah! let's try the other method again there's a 75 percent chance oh 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 that's huge that's huge that's huge okay now i have to only win the 50 50 three times and and i believe that we can do it i believe that we can do it let's go now we're at five five one two we just have to get this three times in a row that's it <sighs> no god five five two four again bro oh my god i only have five skill f oh no very simple illuminate oh my god what this is rigged this is absolutely rigged there's no way there's no way that i always get this first one there's no way okay all right just give me illuminator baby give me a stop it why bro how is this possible how do i lose the 50 50 every time this one's easy ready watch this boom let's go one Fuck! oh my fucking god okay let's try the 75 percent strategy ready oh that's huge that's huge that's huge okay that worked that worked Let, that, let's go let's go that worked okay i just have to win the 50 50 three times that's it. okay 
Come on. Give me Illuminator. Please. Please. Okay. Two more times. Please. Give me Illuminator. Give me Illuminator. Let's go. This is it, boys. This is it. We just have to win the 50-50 right here, and then we're done. Please give me Illuminator. Let's go! Yes, dude! Yeah! Let's go! Oh my god, dude. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna get it, bro. I didn't think I was gonna get it. That actually... Oh my god. I used 18 skill resets to get that to happen. I lost 18 times in a row. 19 because I the first initial upgrade. Oh my god god bro that was stressful i thought i was gonna use like maybe 10 of them maybe 12 or 13 if i was unlucky i didn't think i was gonna lose 19 times in a row dude bro i have a headache from that i literally have a headache from just from trying to do that why can't i just pick the skills i want i can't believe it's 2024 and they still haven't fixed that okay now that we have guaranteed got the configuration we've literally saved ourselves 310 legendary commander sculptures at the cost of 18 skill resets so basically i just have to hope that there's no commanders coming up soon that are going to be perfect for a skill reset because i've basically used all of mine let's go ahead and max her out to level 60 that's going to be easy peasy we've got plenty of experience here in the uh in the old inventory bang there we go all right boom 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 and let's see if we crit we do baby let's go now we just take her to maximum level ladies and gentlemen there we go we have ourselves a six star level 60 gorgo my throat oh my god i did way more yelling than i thought i would okay now let's go ahead and take a look at the talent builds here what are we gonna do for gorgo well i think we grabbed his pseudo formation and the reason for this is because this skill even though it's only for one second there's no listed cooldown and when you have an extra <clears throat> and when you have an extra bit <coughs> oh my god my throat and when you have an extra basic attack from Liu Che you can trigger this again and it's actually I mean 15 percent less damage having this trigger more often with Liu Che probably a good thing also no weakness is good but I want to make sure I grab a couple of other things here I want to definitely get all the March speed in it basically that I can get let's do this okay let's also can we grab this we can so we're gonna do that and we're gonna grab hold the line we'll put yes three points in a stronger body i'm gonna grab new weakness here and then we have six points left and that's not enough for medicinal supplies it is enough for snare of thorns and your extra basic attacks in theory should trigger this which is a nice slowdown but we've already got a nice slowdown on the active skill on liu che we don't want balance so so I think the play is to grab the health, the defense, and we grab two points for attack and then we'll put two points in snare of thorns. I mean, why not? 10% chance for a 10% March speed reduction. Not too bad. We grabbed all the March speed that we wanted. We grabbed all the stats that we wanted. We got hold the line. I think this is pretty good. I think this is pretty good. You guys, I think testudo formation is questionable on anybody other than a Liu Che pairing, but yeah, I think that's going to be the talent build for the open field Gorgo with Liu Che. Now we did have two bundles pop up here. We have civilization leader for $10. You get a bunch of stars and experience. And then this bundle is $5. It's a basically a mini version. And again, a bunch of stars and experience. I think in the late game, these bundles are probably not worth buying in my opinion i have a lot of these stars saved up i have a lot of experience saved up i personally don't think that they're worth it if you're a mega well then you know you could do whatever you want but i i just i wish they put some like legendary sculptures in here that would make it worth it right a couple a couple legendary heads maybe i would consider it now if you guys are curious about the equipment and armaments that i'm going to be using on my gorgo with liu che in the next video i'm going to be going over all of the open field pairs that i'm going to be using in my upcoming kvk and that's going to include all the talent builds armaments equipment and everything like that so if you guys don't want to miss that video make sure you drop a thumbs up on this one and also subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified when i post that next video while you're down there comment down below what you think about gorgo do you think she's worth it at 5515 or 5511 for open field fighting or do you think that you should just completely ignore her unless you're a garrison player i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace